Hey guys, this is Andy and Eric from Mobile Must Have. And in this video, we're gonna do a quick overview on pole mount and trimmer options that we have. So before we get started, the vast majority of our customers do not need to look at pole mounting options. Um, it's, it's complicated to get a pole up in the air. So much work. To get the cables routed, to Ugh. unplug other stuff. So if you're looking or you've seen other videos on the internet, um, we're gonna talk to you about what kind of some of the specific use cases are for pole mount applications in this video. But we do recommend if you look at our bundles, like our Ultimate Road Warrior Plus bundle that includes an omnidirectional roof mounted antenna, yeah. that is, that's the way to go for 99% of RVers. Um, you know, if you're looking at a mobile router solution. But for today, we wanna to talk about some of our popular pole mounting products. And, and these are great for a rural home application or something that's not moving really at all. Um, this is where these really start to excel. Yeah, so let's kind of talk about why pole mounting is popular in the first place. So the earth is round. Most people think that. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> Long story short, every 10 feet of vertical elevation of a cellular antenna will typically give you about double the cell signal strength. And that's due to the curvature of the earth. Cell signals travel horizontally along the earth and you will eventually hit ground if you just go flat and straight at a low altitude. So by raising the antenna up, you are basically enabling the cell tower and your device to communicate with less stuff in between it and less interference and less bounces off of the yep. ground, cars, and all these other things. Less interference. Yeah, so going up typically does help. Now, we don't have to go 10 miles up. You know, we're typically looking at 20, 30 feet um, with most of our poles. I think we have a 25 foot pole um, that we part, we pair up with, with um, on our store and there's some other pole mounting options that we're looking to release in yep. the future. Um, so poles can really help with signal. And then once you get into the antennas, there's two sort of flavors or variants. There's a directional pole mount and then there's an omnidirectional pole mount antenna. Yep. And that's the configuration of the antenna inside of the case. Now directional antennas, think of it like a laser beam to that cell tower. It's, it, it, it does have, you know, depending on the specifics of the antenna, usually like maybe let's call it 15 degrees of kind of like really hyper-focused gain yeah. where it's gonna be able to travel a lot further to get to that cell tower, but it's gonna be in one direction. Directional antennas are really popular for folks that are super, super fringe, um, or for folks that just have one cell tower or cell provider um, and they're like, I just want to look at that one tower in that one direction. And if I can dial in the best signal possible, that can, not always does, but can result in higher and faster download and upload speeds. You're still going to be at the mercy of that cell tower. Um, yeah. You know, you can have perfect signal to a tower, but if that tower is saturated and it doesn't have anything to give. Or it's running DSL and yeah. it's slow anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got great connection yeah. to the tower, but out to the internet from the tower, there's nothing. Yeah. But the vast majority of cases... Uh, I know Chad from Changing Lanes did a great video on the X pole here. He saw significant speed improvements by dialing in and pointing a yep. directional antenna to a cell tower. In, in rare cases, it can be the difference between signal and no signal, but you have to really be out there on the fringe um, and be able to, to really have the patience to find signal and really decide you're going to be there and needing to work if you're that far in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so, so. directional is, let's just, we'll say it's the highest performance and it's the biggest pain in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're talking about mounting something, set it and forget it and not messing with it, like in a rural home application, or if you have a business, you know, you're doing oil refinery rigs. I know we sell a lot of these to, to, to folks in Texas that are doing like mobile oil yeah, refinery yeah. stuff that moves around yeah, a lot out there. They, yeah. they love these antennas. Now, one thing too, I think it's always worth pointing out is while although the height, which is important on poles, um, can improve your overall signal. At some point, you might have to extend the cable that comes with these. Now, these all have a lot of cable that comes with them. They've all got about 15 feet per line, which is a lot. Um, but what happens if I go past the 15 feet and extend it? Is extending it worth the height gain? That's a big question. We get. Yeah, it can be tricky because the uh, dialing into some real kind of geeky stuff. The cable itself actually can pick up some signal, I've been told, from Parsec yeah. and some of the other guys. So 
there is some some interesting stuff where the, the cable can help but yeah you're talking about losing let's call it two decibels of gain for every like 10 or 15 feet of cable depending on how thick the cable if you go ultra low loss or low loss so the vast majority of our customers we say hey Try to get in on the 15 feet if you can. Yep. If you need to extend because you're in a rural home situation and it's a permanent install, you can do the ultra low loss, which is really thick cable. Really thick cable. It's like the thickness, of the diameter of like a dime, like nickel yep. dime. So it's it's a thick cable, and in many situations, you need more than one cable if you're doing um, two by two MIMO or in like this, this case, one's got four cables. Right. So yeah. there's four cell antennas in this. We'll we'll uh, we have separate videos for each of these antennas that we'll go into. So we're just kind of doing an overview, but. But yeah, so cable is something to, to consider and omnidirectional versus directional. So in looking at like the X pole that uh, is right here, that's a directional antenna, two by two MIMO that has 600 megahertz support and that is a 5G ready antenna. Uh, that's the one that was featured in uh, Chad from Changing Lanes video. And we sold quite a few of those to very happy customers who uh, use that with um, our ultimate road warrior bundle because it's two by two um, it has two cellular antenna leads if you were going to look to add that to like a category 18 or category 20 modem you would actually need two of those two of them yep. um, you could technically do that on two of the antenna plugs and then do kind of your small antennas on the other two um, but it's not going to be as fast as if you jump into something like this now this is a panorama antenna. It's pretty big. It's huge. I'm not sure this is an RV application, <laughs> but let's let's think about what it is. It's basically two of those. Yeah. So in this situation, we've got four cellular antennas in this that are all directional. Um, this thing is a, is an absolute beast, and it screams from a performance perspective. And you can use that with the 5G capable modems or the Category 18 modems to just get the highest possible speed with four integrated directional. But antennas. I mean, it's heavy, it's big, it takes up an entire storage unit. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. not not very common for RV use. This is we see this a lot on uh, on on those uh, but, oil structures. But this one we're very excited about. Yeah. So if you're looking at, hey, I just want to step it up and I want to go think about doing pole mount to add to your arsenal. Again, we recommend roof antenna is like 90% of yours, but then you get out there, you're boondocking and you wanna be out there. This is a high performing antenna. We've actually got the Mobile Internet Resource Center, Chris and Shavi from uh, RV Mobile Internet testing that right now. Uh, they used it on our property in New Hampshire and we're highly impressed with what it was able to do. That is not a directional antenna. That is omnidirectional. Even though it's flat and it looks like you have to point it, you don't. Nope. So this is really, really great. Uh, that's that's a four by four uh, MIMO antenna. So there's four cell antennas in that. Leads here. Uh, yeah. They've added really beefy 240 size cables to this to even further improve the performance of this antenna. And because it's omnidirectional, if you plug that into our duo type uh, modems, and there are cell towers in two different directions, like we've got one modem running on AT&T and one on Verizon, two different towers. You don't have to worry about pointing with that unit. So that is what I would say is really a solid blend between not being a pain in the butt. I mean, still got to put it on a pole. <laughs> still um, got a pole. I mean, yeah. one little thing it will be And performance. Yeah. But yeah, that's just sort of a simple overview of why people are even thinking about doing pole mounts and uh, sort of the different flavors of pole mounts. Awesome, guys. Well, if you have any questions, as always, hit us up on chat. Uh, you can also send us an email at info at mobilemusthive.com, and we'll hope to see you on the road. Thanks, guys.